Hello everyone, welcome back. This video is about another simple yet interesting activation function called soft plus. Soft plus activation looks similar to ReLU but with slight modifications. One difference is that it is a continuous function so its derivative exists at all points. It looks like this in its simplest form. It is unbounded on the positive side just like ReLU and it is bounded on the negative side to 0. So the range is 0 to positive infinity. As you can see here, this has a smooth transition around 0. So in case of ReLU, there will be a discontinuity here at 0. Whereas here, it is a continuous function and it is smooth transition across 0. So the equation is quite simple. It's ln of 1 plus e power x. So by adding a parameter here, you can control the transition here. This is the general form of soft plus activation. If you see, beta is the controlling parameter here, which controls the slope around 0. By varying this beta, we can get different curves like this. So if you observe this, beta equal to 1 is the actual soft plus function, which is this green curve. If beta is less than 1, it is becoming almost like linear. And if it beta is greater than 1, then it becomes more like ReLU and uh, the smoothness decreases around 0. But in general, we don't use any parameter in soft plus. This is the function we use normally. Now let's have a look at the derivative of this soft plus activation. The equation of soft plus is this. It's ln of 1 plus e power x. Now if I take the derivative of f with respect to x, we are actually taking the derivative of ln of x. If you consider this total thing as x, we know that the derivative of ln of x is 1 by x. So by applying that formula, we will get 1 by 1 plus e power x. Now in place of x, we have this total term. So we need to take the derivative of this term again. Then we will get e power x. So the total value is e power x divided by 1 plus e power x. Now if I slightly adjust this equation, I will divide the numerator and denominator with e power x. So e power x divided by e power x divided by 1 plus e power x divided by e power x. So the numerator will become 1 and the denominator will become e power minus x and here it will become 1 plus 1. So if I rewrite this, so the derivative of my function with respect to x is 1 by 1 plus e power minus x. So if you notice this, what is this actually? This is an equation of sigmoid function, right? This is surprising. The derivative of soft plus is giving me the sigmoid function. This is how the derivative looks like. So the derivative is 1 by 1 plus e power minus x which is just a sigmoid function. The graph looks like this. The derivatives are always ranging between 0 and 1. Now let's look at some features of this soft plus. We already know the range is between 0 and positive infinity. It is unbounded on the positive side and it has a smooth gradient because there is no discontinuity in the curve. It's continuous and smooth curve and it is looking similar to ReLU so it doesn't have a vanishing gradient problem. But it is computationally expensive because it has exponential term, logarithm term, even the derivative has exponential terms in it. So it is not very popular. We don't use it much in general. That's all from this video. In the next video, we will see Swish activation function developed by Google Brain. If you like the content, please hit the like button. I have shared the playlist of this course in the description. See you next time. Thank you.